Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody wang chung. What the hell is a wang chung? <laughs> I love this song. Hey everybody, it's Curtis. Welcome back to another episode of Mystery Pop Theater. Um, I've got a little bit of a different setup going this time. I've got a, uh, a different microphone, I've got a different webcam. Lighting setup is still the same, so things might look a little different, but I'm still tweaking it. Hopefully you can hear me better. Um, I know that was an issue and I, I thought it was pretty quiet myself when I was editing these videos, but let me know what you think. Uh, can you tell a difference? Can you not? Do you care? <laughs> Uh, okay, I uh, just got some boxes in the mail today. Uh, the first one I had is, uh, I believe it was last Wednesday's Poptopia box, which I've got right here, and we're gonna we're gonna open it. Now I don't remember what the top prize was in this one. Okay, let's find out. There's the poster. And then there's the bottom. I, don't, I think it's this. <laughs> it's Rick James. <laughs> That's awesome. I got box number 74. Wow. I wasn't planning on getting that one, but I, this is a cool one. <laughs> so that's my Poptopia box. Um, I also today got my Ralphie's grab bag from Spastic Pops. This is a bit of a bigger, heavier box. So let's get into that one. Curious what's in here. Uh, the website said if Ralphie was being a good boy the day I ordered. Ralphie's a dog, by the way. I don't know if you've checked out his website. But uh, Ralphie must be Curtis's dog. So if Ralphie was being a good boy that day, he would double the value of the box. So I got six pops uh, for $29.99. That was before shipping. So let's see if uh, Ralphie was being a good boy that day helps if I completely open the box first. Oh, everything's in a sorter. That helps immensely. So I'm just gonna stack these over here next to Rick James. Oh, and they're all taped shut. Curtis, you do an awesome job at packaging. So now I'm gonna um, have to cut all of these, all the tape on all of these before I get going. I'll cut that part out. <sighs> okay, the seal has been broken on all of the sorters. So I've got six sorters from this Ralphie's grab bag. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start opening. I'm gonna show you first. Oh, it's upside down. I can kind of see a face on there. Um. Oh, it's Star Wars. My favorite. <laughs> Director Orson Krennic. I don't collect Star Wars. Sorry. Over there is where you go. Let's do the next one. So upside down because I saw a face. Oh, come on. So this is the second Power Girl I've received from Spastic Pops. But you know, for the price I paid, I'll take it. I can trade it or sell it later. Box number three of six. Oh, it's another Star Wars pop. It's 
from Solo, I believe. That's our Donald Glover Lando Calrissian. You go over there with director Orson Krennic, <laughs> and we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> DJ, who is this? Oh, it's another Star Wars. Who is DJ? I don't even remember. It's from... It's from GameStop. I don't know who this character is. DJ, I know... I don't even... I've seen these movies and I have no clue who this is. But three of the six so far have been Star Wars. I'm not really super thrilled with this. I got two more left. Okay, so this is a it's Star Wars. It's the electrocuted Darth Vader, but I think this is the normal ver the normal version. This is the non-target glow in the dark version. It's still kind of a cool looking pop. This is one I might keep, because, you know, Darth Vader. Um, so that's four of six being Star Wars. Let's see what the la what's in this last Star Wars box that I apparently ordered. <laughs> Nothing against you, Curtis, but I just don't collect Star Wars. Oh, uh, what is this? This looks like a Star Wars. No, it's a Power Rangers. Pudgy Pig. That has some sticker on it I've never seen. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was kind of behind me. Well, not behind me, but I was too old for it when it came out. I think that was in the early 90s. And I was in my, or yeah, early to mid 90s. And I was in my 20s at that time. I was watching Beavis and Butthead and 120 Minutes on MTV <laughs> and wondering what Power Rangers were. So, I mean, for what I paid, I have no clue of the values of these. You'll probably have seen them on the screen by the time this video is done. Um, I think my shirt kind of encapsulates how I feel about that box. Sorry, Curtis, but I'm not a Star Wars collector. But hey, that's on me for ordering a mystery box. So, I appreciate it. Uh, that's all I have right now for this episode. I did want to mention I've updated my um, About section on here if you want to look at that. I do have a shipping address now if you feel like sending me anything or you want to say hi or we can work on some trades for some stuff that you maybe have seen in the videos. But um, yeah, that's new. Uh, I have a, a mailbox set up. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.